Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When you want to add animation to selected objects in your presentation slides, you do that through the Custom Animation Task Pane. However, to apply a basic animation to a selected slide object, you can just click the Animate drop-down, which is in the Animations group, on the Animations tab in the ribbon, and then select a style of animation for the selected object. Also note that you can select the custom animation choice from the drop-down, or simply click the custom animation button in the animations group to open the custom animation task pane. Now in the custom animations task pane that appears at the right side of the window, you can control which slide objects to animate and also dictate the precise animation that will occur for each. Now to animate an object, click on it to select it in the slide. Then just click the Add Effect drop-down button in the Custom Animation task pane. You will then see a drop-down list of the animation effect categories. Entrance, Emphasis, Exit, and Motion Paths. When you roll your mouse pointer over any one of these categories, a side menu will appear that shows you a few of the most commonly applied types of animation within that category. You can select any one of these or you can click the More Effects command to display a separate dialog box of all of the available animation effects for that selected category of animation. You can then click on any one of these animations shown within the dialog box to preview the animation in the slide window. Now, note that in order for the preview to be enabled, the preview effect checkbox must be checked. Once you've selected the desired animation effect to apply, you may then click the OK button to add it into the listing of animations shown in the custom animation task pane. Now, as you add animation to an object, it, the object will appear with a little number next to it in the slide, starting with 1 to indicate its animation order. You will also see the animation appear in the list of animations shown in the custom animation task pane. If you click on an animation effect in this list, you'll see the corresponding number in the slide turn an orange color so that you can tell which object the animation is currently being applied to. You can modify the selected animation effect in the modify and then the animation name section of the custom animation task pane. Now the first property that you can set is the start property which just determines when the animation for that object should start. You can use the drop down to select either on click, with the previous animation, or after the previous animation. You can then set the direction that the animation will take if applicable by using the drop down of the same name. You can then set the speed of the animation using that drop down if available as well. Now to see all of the available animation options that you have for any animation effect that is currently selected in the custom animation task pane, click the small drop down arrow at the right end of the animation effect. In the drop-down menu of options that appears, you can select the Effect Options command to open a separate dialog box of options that you can set for that particular effect. They are typically on one or two tabs, usually called Effect Timing, and then the Optional tab, which is often Text Animation, or in this case, Smart Art Animation. Now you simply click on each tab to view the options that you can set for each one. Change any settings as needed. Your options, once again, will vary depending upon what type of object you're dealing with and also what type of animation effect that you've applied. Now, when you've reviewed all of your different options and set them as you would like, you may then click the OK button to apply your new animation settings.
Now also notice that at the bottom of the task pane, you'll see a button for play. You can click the play button to play the animation sequence in its entirety. You may also click the slideshow button in order to preview the animation as it would play in slideshow view. Also, if you would like to turn off the animation preview, you can click the checkbox for auto preview to remove the check from the box and disable the preview feature. Now, if you would like to change the order in which the animation effects occur, you can select the effect that's in the incorrect order and then click the up and down arrows in the reorder section until the list of effects in the custom animation task pane is in the order that you want. Now if you would like to delete a selected animation, just click on it in the list of animation effects in the task pane and then click the remove button at the top of the custom animation task pane. And when you're finished with your custom animation, Click the X in the upper right corner of that pane to close it as well. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.